Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. In today's video, I bring you with me while I compete in another kayak bass tournament. I fished the Thursday night ETKA tournament. This is part of a trail that's run by my friend Eric, who has a YouTube channel, TN Bassin. They fish on Thursday nights on Fort Loudon Reservoir from 6 to 9 p.m. And they rotate boat ramps, and this week it was at the Lenore City Park Ramp. Now, these tournaments score your three longest bass. That's largemouth, smallmouth, or spotted bass in whatever combination you catch and so this week's tournament had a pretty good turnout there were 15 of us that showed up which was really good considering we had some storms in the area when this tournament started so it was a good time here's the action that's a fish right there guys i got one after it he hit it twice he wants it he's got it right there there he is. There he is. He's got it. First one. Feels like a pretty good one too, man. That's a pretty good fish right there. Y'all, the wind's cranking out here right now. Well, it ain't really cranking, but it's blowing hard enough. It's going to create problems. Oh, dang. Dang, man. That got me excited for nothing. It's a good one, all right. Good drum. Good drum right there. Bad news for him though, I got ice in my cooler. He's going home to be used as bait tomorrow on the next catfishing trip. Dang man, that got me excited. I'm gonna try to knock out this intro right quick though, y'all. I'm fishing in a tournament tonight, a bass tournament. My friend Eric runs a Thursday night tournament here on Fort Loudon Reservoir. If I can get this dang drum unhooked and get back to business. Uh, we got some adverse weather out here tonight, though. There are storms all around us. So, I'm fishing here close to the car so I can make a run for it if need be. Plus, we fished out here two weeks ago. I caught all my fish right here. There he is, that drum. Throw him in the cooler. Anyway, back to business. Like I was saying, I fished this tournament out here two weeks ago. And this spot right here by the ramp, I got my limit and missed a couple of others within the final hour of the tournament. So I said, I'm going to make sure I spend some time here tonight in this tournament. But the weather conditions pretty much sealed the deal for me with these storms in the area. I want to be close to the car, but this wind is being a nuisance. This finesse fishing like I like to do, there's really two scenarios where it, it's really hard to do, and that is extremely muddy water and the high winds. Muddy water, they can't see the bait, and high winds, it's hard to feel them. So right now I'm having to kind of keep my rod tip down toward the water to keep my line from getting a big bow in it which is letting me feel that bait at least better than what I could if my rod tip was higher up in the water. I'm just working this area right here by the dock. There's all these rocks right here. And I've anchored down here in 13 feet. And I'm just letting this, letting this little worm, this little TRD worm, get down there on them rocks and I'm reeling it real slow. Kind of ticking it over the top of them. Uh, there's some wood and debris down there coming right across the top of them. And hopefully we're gonna get something a little better than that dang old drum tonight. If that drum's as good as it gets, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Thunders all around, but I ain't seen no lightning, y'all. I am close to the car, though, just in case. Tournament or no tournament, I don't play with lightning. Ain't worth risking your life over for any fish, especially no bass fish. <laughs> if it was a world record catfish, I might at least think twice, but... These old 
small green ones. Ain't no way, <laughs> even with money on the line. I got a fish right here. There he is. I don't think he's gonna keep though. I don't believe he's gonna keep. Don't even need to net on him, do we? <laughs> when you don't need to net, you know he ain't gonna help you for the tournament. We finally got us one. At least one of the right species anyway. That drum certainly ain't gonna help us, but he got me excited earlier. I just knew when that drum hit that I had me a good bass on. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Fish right here. He's swimming with it. Oh god. Oh he hit it again. He hit it again right there. I missed him and he came back for it as I was as I was reeling it in. And he spit god dang it. Missed that fish twice. Hooked him and lost him twice. He wasn't a cap. He's just a little thing. Probably just had the tail of the bait. Got it right there. Let's stick him. Yep, let's stick him. I got him. I ain't got him hooked good though, I don't think, because he's coming right at me. Oh heck, that's a bluegill. <laughs> oh man, getting excited tonight for nothing. That's a nice bluegill though. I'm gonna try me a gulp minnow on there. See what that did for me. Got me a bluegill anyway. Let's see if we can find us a bass with it. Got another one that's got it right here. He's coming right at me too. There he is. That's a bass. I think he's going to end up being short though, y'all. A little large mouth. Just flung my minna off. At least we got the right species this time. Yeah, switching over to that gulp minnow over the worm definitely picked up the bite. Got two in a row right there. Two fish anyway. I'm going to put this one on the board, but I promise you he ain't going to keep. I'm going to measure him anyway, just peace of mind. Well, I think I'm going to measure him. <laughs> yeah, he's about 11 inches, so he's short. Got to be 12 tonight. Got one that's got it right here. He's got it. Will he keep though? Probably not. I think that's going to be another 10 incher. That's going to be another one of them old shorties. If I can get him unhooked. Yeah, I know he is. I ain't even gonna put him on the board. Ain't worth the time to do it because I know he's short. Let's fix the worm back here. There's another one's got it right here. Right on top of that log over there. And this one's probably about the same size. I don't know, that and me. We popped off right there in the kayak too. We're gonna, we're gonna measure this one at least, but I think he's gonna be short as well. Yeah, that in there's 11 inches. At least though, let him go. At least I figured out what these fish are wanting. They're wanting this thing moving fast. So that's why we're gonna give it to them. They're wanting this thing swimming. I had that one swimming a few inches under the surface. So. The one before that hit it moving pretty quick, too. Let's make a few more casts. There may be some more bass on that tree. You can see part of it sticking up out of the water there. Those two bass I've got swimming this worm across the top of it there. I got a hit right there. Yeah, 
he's got it. Yep, he's got it. I knew I felt he needed it. It's a pretty good fish right there. I don't know what he is. Oh, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. I need this one, y'all. That's a real good bass. I ate it on the fall. Large mouth. Get that net. Folks, that's a good fish right there. That is a good fish. That is exciting. I ate that on the fall over there by the dock. Yeah, I'm gonna roll up on this thing if I ain't careful too. back up here. I'm going to be right on top of him. Maybe some more in there. Let me get this hook out. Yeah, buddy. Right there, folks. We're in business. Let me get my board set up. Get some pictures. Alright, guys. 16 and a half inch largemouth. First fish toward our limit. Let's see what time it is. Eight o'clock. This is how it was out here a couple weeks ago. Bite kind of turned on in that last hour. So let's hope we're having the same scenario tonight. Got one right there. land this thing now. Let's get him up here. Yeah. Small mouth. Yeah. Looks like 15 and 3 quarters. All right. 15. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's do it again. I got two. How about you? I've had some short fish, but I got a 16 and a half and a 15 and three quarter. I'd like to get me one more here just to complete a limit. Yeah. Running out of time. <laughs> yeah, I got one on right here, man. There he is. Oh, please be 12 inches. Please be 12 inches. Really need this fish. We are in the final minutes here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. You spit it right there. That one would have kept. That would have definitely kept. Damn. All right, guys. Damn. Thanks for coming out. Stop 14 East Tennessee kayak anglers. We're at Lenore City Park. A uh, very interesting evening. Fishing was very difficult, but we had some good fish caught. And so we'll go through the awards. Uh, first out of the money, Jason Bradshaw comes in fourth place, and he gets a leash from Never Lost. Thanks for coming out and fishing with us. We appreciate that. And then um, only one limit caught tonight. We'll get to that. That was the actual winner. But uh, I was fortunate enough to catch two decent fish for third. And so I got $30. So that's Eric Thomas in third place. And then um, a guy that's been fishing with us for a while, on and off. He's got a tremendous YouTube following. Had a real nice night. Justin Johnson came in uh, second place with $45. He also had big fish at 16 and a half inches, and he gets $75 for big fish. So don't spend that. Eating good tonight, fellas. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. And I just, if you, if you want to film this, you're more than welcome. Yeah. So um, just a kind of a, a story about the community, if you will. I'm at the boat ramp. There's a couple guys from North Carolina that, that was just coming out to fish. And they recognize this guy. This guy's got umpteen million followers on his YouTube channel. And uh, he's a good guy. He's an outstanding catfish fisherman. And he's an outstanding fisherman overall. He's done well in some big tournaments like fishing for soldiers. 
he's been fishing with us a little bit more and we're glad he's here so well, you got right. anything you want to say to the group yes yes i have YouTube something guys? important to say you are hired i'm hired you're hired as <laughs> yeah. my public spokesperson all right i'm expensive so that well, money that you want well, tonight can be a i'll you just know, hand you, it yeah, back yeah, over you but you're no my problem. public relations person no from problem, now on you're, that's the best speech yeah. i could have given for myself very, right very there <laughs> outstanding young man and uh <laughs> we're glad to have him so with that being said we'll kind of have the um the first place domination with the only three fish limit, which was a pretty solid limit at 45 and a half inches, who is right up at the top just about every week, is Pro Mines, also known as Eric Romines. Thank you very much for $75 also. TN Bass and TV on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> well, guys, if you'd ever wondered what $120 worth of bass looks like, you just saw it there. Not bad for a night of bass fishing, if you ask me. But that tournament there gets me back into black on the year for these bass tournaments. I have fished three prior to that and didn't cash in any of them. So that tournament covers those previous expenses and gets me profitable again, which I'm thankful for because bass fishing was starting to get expensive with these tournament entry fees adding up. But I'm going to go out and fish with them again next week. It's next week. It's at Ish Creek Boat Ramp. So hopefully I can keep this momentum going and do well in that one too. But in the meantime, I'll be out there doing some catfishing. I'll see you again here soon. Thanks for watching.